It's Friday the 12th of May. I'm out walking, it's raining. I've sort of waited all day to do this. And five minutes before I was gonna come out, it starts raining, so it's typical. So I'm not gonna have the camera out too much. It's the first time it's rained in I wonder May. what it's going about. Oh yeah, is it? Yeah. May well be, may well be. Put him. Oh. Wow. <laughs> It is really peeing it down. Ryan, what do you think? It is actually. Should we stand here for a minute? We're seeking refuge under a tree. Look at it. I don't know if the camera captures the rain. We're by the bowling green. But because we're not going for a super long walk today because of this, just to stand in here for a couple of minutes won't hurt. But my phone is not appreciative of the rain. Which Samsung was it that was waterproof? A it seven. <laughs> it weren't this fucker then. Oh shit. Excuse my French. Should we continue? You don't look really waterproof. <laughs> I don't look waterproof. I've got a t-shirt on. I've got sunglasses on that are soaked. See the plan was today to walk my daughter to, to school. Walk my daughter to dancing. But as we came out of the house it just started raining. So we jumped in the car, dropped her around there and then we got back and I thought we've got to do something. I can't not friggin walk just because it's raining. So we took my daughter Drove the car home, parked up, and just came for a walk around the block. It's Friday. Let's carry on. See, the, it's actually quite bright. That's the stupid thing. And there'll be a rainbow. There might, might be, actually. Over there is the council. And if you go through there, you're sort of on the edge of town, so we don't live that far away from town. But I just like to get a bit of daily evidence to show that I have been out again. There's a cat. Oh, two, two. Has two Lacey cats. seen them? My the dog will pull and look at them. Walk until you see three cats, that's the usual. Oh, we've seen two. Wow, my phone's getting wet. As I was saying, I just like to have some evidence of getting out. It's quite refreshing being out in the rain, actually. It's quite warm today, even though it's a bit naff. Wow. <laughs> So I stopped the video because my phone was getting soaked and the screen's all soaked, the dog's all soaked, and my freaking jacket's completely soaked. Look at it. Although it's bright, it's pissing it down. Hello. So, unfortunately, that wasn't the best walking footage that we've had so far, but I just thought quickly i'll answer a couple of questions that i've seen in the comments so one of the questions that was on yesterday's video was am i on any medication yes i'm on propranolol which is a beta blocker and i'm on 80 milligrams but they do like a slow release thing so i think it you take the pill and then it gradually releases into your system over the 24 hour period so it's just one a day and i've been on them for ages but the problem is, I don't know if they do anything anymore, like maybe I've got so used to them that they don't have any effect. But the, the other problem that I have is that I'm too afraid to come off them because of the way that it's going to make me feel. Because I've read other, although I probably shouldn't use these as my examples, but I've read other people that have experienced 
not nice sensations when they withdraw withdrew from propranolol. So obviously there's probably people out there that have withdrew and had no symptoms, no withdrawal side effects or whatever. The problem is is that people that usually have good experiences don't go on the internet and post about it. So if anybody's come off propranolol and they've been fine and they've recovered from anxiety or whatever, it's rare that they've gone on the net, typed it in, because they're out doing whatever. So nine times out of ten, the stuff that you read on the net is negative. That's something that I've, you know, understood from quite an early stage of me having anxiety. A lot of the stuff to do with medication, a lot of stuff to do with different methods and different theories on how to overcome stuff. You often find that it's the people that are still struggling that are going on talking it, talking about it, and maybe not appreciating certain things. I don't know, I'm freaking rabbit in. I'm good at that. Another question that was asked the other day was, do I have or have I read the book At Last A Life by Paul David? The answer to that is that I have got it, and I vaguely remember reading it some time ago. I don't know whether I actually finished it and read the whole thing, but I've read a bit of it, and it's very similar to the, the Claire Weeks stuff that I've read previously. And that's the issue is that they're so... Nearly all the books that I've come across, there is only one way to do it, and that's to accept, to get out there, to live your life. And the problem is, all these books say that, but it's damn hard doing it. And that's the thing, and I've been thinking a lot, like in the last 24 hours probably, that or how far back I've gone. Like, I used to be able to go and do stuff, and I was never... I, I would say now, I'm probably the worst that I've ever been in re, in regards to, like, I'm struggling to walk around the block. Although I'm not, but I am. It's like there's a battle. Every day, it's a battle. Every day at the moment, to do what I'm doing, to get myself out of the house, is a battle. Like yesterday, going to park in the car park and wait for my wife... That was a struggle. And this stuff has, you know, it's never really been an issue. I know that I've got worse, and that's why, perhaps, that's why I've suddenly realised that I need to do something about it. Because I don't know if it could get any worse. Well, it probably could. I mean, I, I could obviously not leave the house, then it would be worse. But I feel like I react to everything at the moment. Every time I go out... I've said that on a video already this month. Every time I go out the door, there's anxiety. There's anxiety when I'm at home, every day. Some days are better than others, granted, but every day it seems to be there. So that's what I'm trying to do is gradually just, I don't know, maybe I need to incorporate just going out in the car as well. I'm not saying instead of. This is not me saying don't expect any more walks because that's happening. But what I'm thinking is maybe I need to up my game. The walking, yes, it's great and it's nice and it's exercise and it's me getting out of the house on foot and it's building a bit of confidence in my mind knowing that I can walk for a bit. You know, if we, like this is out of the question at the minute, but if we went to like a shop, a big supermarket or a retail park, I know, because I have experience now, that my legs will carry me. So now I guess it's a case of driving maybe to a retail park and just sitting there for a bit and just getting used to being in the car in a busy place and seeing people because I'm struggling with that at the minute. So there's different aspects that I can work on and I'm definitely going to look into it. I'm actually going to do more than just look into it. I'm going to do it. So I don't know when or how. Tomorrow? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have a think about it, but I'm definitely going to do more. I'm going to crank it up now because I feel like I've, you know, eased off the last few days. I've not pushed myself to the limits, and that's what I want to do. I want to experience it. I want to feel it. I want to freak out. I want to bring it on. So I'm going to push myself. Let's give it, like, maybe... I don't know whether I can keep it up for a week because I may be, like, completely frazzled. But I'm going to give myself a few days of intensity. So just then the door knocked, I don't know if you heard it, but my wife's just got home from work and she's just come in. And this is like happening so freaking often now. 
So Moray's just come in. Emergency services dash to Tamworth, Tamworth's Castle Browns as man in distress. So she just told me that somebody, I don't know if they did, but there was somebody threatening to jump off a balcony at Ankerside in Tamworth today, which is like a town that's just down the road from me. I tell you what, the fucking situation of the mental health system in this country is beyond a joke. And when I was talking the other day about freaking surviving or thriving, it's f it's beyond a joke. The government have got a lot to fucking answer for. It is ridiculous. The amount of people at the moment that are contemplating, attempting, or succeeding in committing suicide at the moment is beyond a joke. The government need to get control over mental health services. People are in dire need of support. When are they going to fucking realise that this isn't going to go away? This is just getting worse and worse every day. It's Mental Health Awareness Week, for Christ's sake. Get a grip. Government, pull your fucking finger out, man. I'm done. I'm done for today, man. That's really fucking... It messes with your mind when you hear that people have gone to that level because they are so desperate for help. So desperate for just some kind of support. They're entitled. Let's fix it.